Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome everybody back to another video, another objectives guide. Today we'll be taking a look at the foot birthday party objectives, which for completing you get yourself an 86 plus road to the final. Is that a foot fantasy or a foot birthday? team one pack that looks a very nice pack you get some pretty neat players with it as well hopefully we can clear up some confusion with this i say it all the time but when we get big objectives like this it can look a little bit overwhelming so we're going to go through these step by step give you guys some tips and tricks along with a squad builder if necessary and without further ado let's get into it now starting off we've got the important venue objective location 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 no clue what ea you're waffling about with that start the party off right by scoring four finesse goals in squad battles on at least semi pro or you can do it in division rivals and here is a swaps token here as well you get an 85 is that a gregory or gregor however you pronounce it you also get yourself a swaps token silvera a foot birthday swaps token which you can then go ahead and redeem for some rewards which is quite nice um as for a finesse goal i mean if you're not sure how to score a finesse goal here is a little example to score a finesse shot all you have to do is press down on the right bumper plus shoot so r1 plus circle if you are on playstation rb plus b if you are on xbox very self-explanatory obviously whilst pressing this you are going to want to aim in the direction you want to shoot the ball the that is just up to you if you want to do these in squad battles or in division rivals finesse goals in rivals are more than doable but maybe if you're in too high of a division then you could just do it in squad battles and get it easy now we have got score 15 goals using for birthday a gregor in squad battles on at least semi-pro or rivals now once this card i say as, as a cam he's not an attacker but he is a cam so he can definitely still get some goals i'd much rather do these in squad battles chuck it on semi-pro and i will give you guys a squad battles tip soon but you get 15 goals with him and you unlock yourself a loan maldini that will be on a 99 game loan or maybe a seven game loan i'm not sure um but it is just a glitch saying there's zero loans now you've got play five matches with base maldini in your starting 11 on squad battles or rivals now this is one of them that you could do on uh, on rivals sorry uh because obviously base maldini is fine i feel like for the ones that's a little bit more tricky you can do them in squad battles and in the easier ones you can do them in rivals and stuff like that uh, so yeah, use them in your squad, happy days. Starting 11 obviously has to be starting in the starting 11. Family celebration, put family first, keep free clean sheets whilst having base Maldini and out of position Daniel Maldini, who you get for obviously completing the player matches with Maldini in your squad, so you need them both in your team. Um, and once again, you just need to keep free clean sheets whilst in squad battles, or you can do it in division rivals. Now we have got What's a Birthday Party Without Friends? Play seven squad battle matches on at least semi-pro difficulty or rivals whilst having foot birthday Gregor and ones to, I would not say ones to watch, out of position Daniel Maldini in your starting 11. You earn a team of the week crash fit on a 20 game loan along with an 86 foot birthday Jesse Lingard, which is quite cool. So once again, play seven squad battle matches. You need to have this Gregor card in your squad and you also need to have um, out of position Daniel Maldini. Obviously Daniel Maldini is the out of position card. And then obviously his father, Paulo Maldini, all right? Or pa Paolo Maldini, I, I think I butchered that. But nonetheless, you are unlocked yourself a GC Lingard, win eight squad battle matches on at least semi pro or rivals whilst having for birthday Lingard and team of a week Rashford. Um, you also get free 84 plus players for that one, which is quite nice. And you unlock a pretty nice Alison Drini. Then you've got win 10 squad battle matches on at least semi pro uh, difficulty or once again division rivals with out of position Daniel Maldini, foot birthday Gregor, foot birthday Lingard, and foot birthday Alison Drini. Now you get 5 85 plus players, and for completing all of these, you will get yourself an 86 plus, as I said in the intro, road to the final fantasy foot or foot birthday team one pack. Now it does look like these are quite a like quite a lot of objectives i'll keep it real you need the finesse goals um now are these in separate matches you know these aren't in separate matches so you can get these in one match if you want the score 15 goals you can get done quite quickly um and then we've got the play five matches will take you five games we've then got to get uh, three clean sheets with them that's another fight that's another three games assuming you keep a clean sheet that's eight games uh you've then got this one here which is you have to play seven squad battles with gregor and out of position maldini which is another uh seven games and then we've got one here when eight squad battle games it's another eight that's another ten so this will take a while i think it, it kind of just depends if you want to do it in squad battles if you want to do it in rivals as i said some of them i wouldn't blame if you did it in rivals some of them i wouldn't blame if you did it in squad 
squad battles. For example, this one right here, the win 10 matches without a position Maldini, foot birthday Gregor, foot birthday Lingard, Lingard sorry, and foot birthday Alessandrini. If you do that in rivals, you're sacrificing four or five of your main players. But what you can always do is have them starting and sub them off straight away. So that can be a little bonus tip. You can always do that. As long as you go into the game with them and you're starting 11, you can sub them off and they'll still count. Same with this win eight squad, uh, squad battle matches or rivals. This could make sense to do in rivals. But the ones that would make sense to do in squad battles could be like score 15 goals, score finesse goals, etc. It'll be a whole lot easier against the AI. Speaking of which, let's jump on over to the squad battles tip and how you can essentially play an easy game in squad battles every single time. So you head on over to squad battles and with squad battles, you get four different teams for selection each time. All right, now whilst this finally does load, I've been doing this as well all week. As you can see, I played this one. This is a great example. We won 10 nil on semi pro. Now, as you can see, we get given four different teams, an 89 with 32 chem, an 89 with 22 chem, and we've got an 88 with 32 chem here. All of these teams are relatively high rated, therefore meaning they're gonna be a little bit tricky. Sure, it's only on semi-pro difficulty if you do decide to do it in squad battles, but semi-pro against really good players, you might win six, seven nil, happy days, but if you, like for example, the score 15 goals, if you wanna try score 15 goals in a match, you wanna refresh your opponents and you just wanna keep playing the poor team. Now, as you can see, and it will be circled by pressing square on a PlayStation or X if you are on the Xbox, you can refresh your games. Now, if we see here, we've got an 89, 80, another 89 and 86. This should be a poor team, 65 rating and two chemistry. This team right here is going to be woeful. We can select that on semi-pro. We could win 15. We could win 20 goals to zero. And with that, you can get so much more objectives done. You can get the finesse goals. And you can do like obviously refresh again then you can get the score 15 goals in one match and it'll be so much easier as i said i'd recommend doing this in squad battles for those more little tricky and annoying objectives before the simple winning matches and playing matches with specific players in your squad you could just do them in division rivals now as you can see that option to refresh is no longer there you get that option roughly every 10 to 15 minutes you will have the option to update your opponents so it works really well because the fifa game is six minutes a half 12 minutes minutes rounded up to 15 by the time it takes you to get in by the time it goes out etc so you can essentially play a game and by that game by the time that game is finished you can load out of the game and you'll have the option to refresh so you can go for a nice little pattern select the worst squad every single time play that game absolutely batter them get the objectives you need done come out of it refresh and so on and so forth. And I do want to remove my webcam. Now, as you can see, we have refreshed so, so, so much this time because I've been doing objectives all week. We have 36 out of 40 matches played. Now, if you do go over that 40 match limit, it simply just means you will no longer get squad battles points that count towards your overall squad battles rank. No stress though, because if you do go over that match limit, it will still count towards your objective. So you can literally do this unlimited times. All like you can do it sit there all day play the worst team refresh and it'll be so much easier chuck a netflix film on i started a new netflix show i watched roughly two three hours worth of it whilst i did all of the play to style objectives uh yesterday and trust me it does make time go a lot quicker so lads if there is any further confusion let me know down below just a little bit of a recap for the finesse goals for the score 15 goals in my opinion stuff like that for the clean sheets a clean sheets would be very risky to do in rivals because all it takes is your opponent to score one goal for these more tricky objectives like as i said clean sheets score 15 finesse goals i'd recommend doing them in squad battles using the techniques i just showed you before the matches where you simply just have to play with the players in your squad or just do them in division rivals and if you have to you can just sub them off happy days as easy as that lads it's been your boy davis any further questions let me know and until the next one i'll see you boys later peace out